Hey friends, welcome to another video. So this one's a little different. I'm doing, un I am doing unboxing. It's like it's kind of normal, but we're just kind of comparing some uh, gopher or mole traps here. So lately, I've had uh, gopher, I believe, just absolutely destroying my yard. It was ridiculous. So we're going to go over a couple of these traps here. So I've had really good luck with. Uh, these little guys, which I believe these are just mole traps, they work for gopher as well. Um, here is a version of one that I've had really good work, uh, success with. And then we have the gopher trap, the black box. So um, I know that this one, this one, and this is uh, simil very similar to the black box. We're just going to go over how to set these real quick and how to use them. Um, and a couple of tips that I've come across on just like um, in my... In my experience of trapping these little guys or, or getting them. So let's go ahead and check out each one here. Uh, these little guys right here, very simple. I like how they don't have like the little prongs here. They're not sharp or anything. So uh, when you do get the gopher, it's not going to like stick inside of him, you know, it's not gonna, you know, I guess it's kind of mean. <laughs> okay, so basically to set this little guy, this goes, so it's that little part right there that comes down over the top, like that, so sorry about that. This comes down, you want this into this little loop right here, and this comes down over that, okay? And then that's going to go into that, so I just like to hold this part forward. And then this uh, is going to spin around and you just got to twist all the way around and get uh, over there again. So it's a little tricky. Just you want to be careful that you don't um, get yourself caught here. So I want to make sure you hold that down all the way. And then to rotate this just like that. Okay, so it's got some pretty good... Uh, resistance on there. Uh, one thing you want to do, you have to stake these down. If you don't stake them down, what's going to happen is it's going to probably grab a little bit of the guy's fur and he's going to pull it all the way down into his tunnel and you never get your trap back. So take some good um, twine, some thick, maybe some kite string, some nylon uh, strings, a thick one, and get a couple, maybe a foot or so, and get a nice log, either like a tent peg or something else like that. Make it really secure on the tent peg, and then drive that down to the ground. Uh, that way, if you do catch the little guy, a cat's not going to come and grab him and pull it off or whatever. Um, even a, if you have a little cable or something, that might be even better, so there's nothing to be able to chew through it. But I've had pretty good luck with some just some really nice nylon, uh, like, kite string. It's pretty durable, probably... 100 pound test or more so it's not really going to go anywhere and then make sure your tent peg or i used to use a big old like a screw that i had to just push it down in the ground so when uh so kind of important for these when they dig their little hole i like to just kind of i'll push this down into the hole right so you got the whole hole right here and you push it down in there and then just kind of cover this up with dirt a little bit so this is kind of on the on that little edge of the hole right there and then I like to take, uh, usually I'll dig up some sod. So to get to find the hole initially, I'll take my shovel and find out where they dug recently. Maybe the hole's right here. So I'll dig around, take out a big old thing of sod and then move my hand around until I can find a hole there. Once I find the hole, this goes down in there. Okay, and basically they're gonna just come along and they're gonna push on this, a little bit of dirt And that's just going to snap these closed, okay? And that's all you do. To get them off then, if they're on there, you just release this, release the tension on that, and then you can uh, simply rotate this to let it go. If they're stuck in between there, you just rotate this and it's going to let go of them. So um, all in all, it shouldn't be too messy. Um, it's quite effective. This the trigger's pretty sensitive on there. If you put a little bit of dirt on the top of there when they push up against it, it's highly effective. Okay, those are good ones. They were great. Let's move on to the next one here. Uh, this is 
the black box gopher trap. So this one looks like an updated version here. Let's go over this one real quick and we can check it out from the top here. All right, let's open this up. Fairly uh, simple. This one is a little bit more sophisticated than the other one I had. So it looks like it's like an upgrade. The other one had this like a kind of exposed and it was a little bit more tricky. Pretty much, you're just gonna press that down and it's gonna lock into place, okay? That's all you gotta do. And then, as you can see, right here, it's got this nice little trigger right here. And the previous trigger on these was, it was just basically a little piece of string there. So this one is quite a bit uh, wider. You see this one right here? When that's gonna go up, boom, and that's pretty much a hair trigger right there. So that's going to, this one is super easy to set. Just push that down and you're good to go. And that is really cool. Okay, so for this one, um, to get in the, the gopher hole, it's a little bit bigger of a trap. So you're gonna have to do some digging around here. So once you access the hole, this is gonna be slightly larger then the hole most gopher holes aren't this big so you're gonna have to butt this up against the hole right so you get access the hole make sure you get down in there and you're gonna have to dig around a little bit so this is actually um blocking the whole hole so you want to just butt up next to the hole um i like to have this part down into the ground like a little bit lower so i'll make some soft dirt you got your hole right here and the trap's gonna go there. I make sure that your that this part butts up right on the hole and it blocks everything. So when they come in there and they're pushing in the dirt, you want this this trigger part or the actual trap part, you want that down into the dirt a little bit. So if you can, um, make sure you don't get yourself. And that way they'll when they crawl, they'll crawl over the top of that. If they see it in the way they might push on that and kind of push it, and that way then your trap's gonna kind of fail. So this one works really good, um, very successful. This one's a little bit of an upgrade of the one I had before, but it was pretty much like I got it every single time. Another, uh, be sure again that, just trigger this real quick, powerful. Um, make sure you stake this down, They're gonna, it's gonna run off. I had, I had a trap, um, my black hole trap, and it was, it was stellar, worked every time pretty much. Um, something ran off with it, whether it caught something and a coyote came and got it or a cat or whatever and dragged it off. Uh, you got a nice big area here. Stake that down. Make sure that you get a, you know, some nice heavy duty string or whatever and something they can push down into the ground. Make sure it's not going to run off and that's going to be really, that's going to work really well for you. Okay. And here is the last one. It's basically the same thing. Um, let's just go over this one. Easy to set and use. It's very similar to the other one. It's just like round instead. And here we have it right here. Okay, so this one, it's very similar, obviously, to set it. You just press this down. And then your trigger is that part right down in there. This has got a little snare here. So with the snare, you don't want to just kind of hang it out there like that. I would like to, you push your snare in. So it's kind of up along the edges here. Okay, so it's like hidden on that plastic. So they're going to go over the top. You can't really see it in there. I tucked it behind this little thing. So when they're coming to push their dirt in, there's nothing to obscure it. So this is similar to the other one, the black hole, except that it's, it's more rounded. So you don't have to dig down quite as much on that. So you can just kind of stick it into their hole. This, with this one, it's got to, you're gonna have to dig down around them more. So it's just kind of like a little thing around them. Their holes are round. So this can basically just go right in there. Make sure you got enough room for you to dig down. So if, if you do dig around, like I said, you find the hole, you're gonna have to make sure that this isn't going like this, but it's just right in their run because they'll have a run right there, uh, a little their little tunnel. You just stick this right down there in the ground and this is going to be very effective. So once again, 
Let's see, does this one have a... It's only got a hole in one end. Now, they don't like light or anything. So when they do dig, they, if they're sensing that, they want to they kind of fill that in if they can. So um, I don't really see a spot. Okay, yeah. Right where this spring is, you can... Um, see, how do I trigger this? I won't really be able to trigger that without getting my hand caught. So uh, pretty much I'll just pull down on this a little bit. Hopefully that's going to release that. It's a super, super gentle trigger, and this is a snare thing. So if it gets caught in there to release it, you're just going to have to push down like on that, and hopefully that's going to release the little gopher there. Or this will work for moles too probably. I would put my... Um, my string either through here or you could almost drill a, like another hole right here and pass a line through there whatever you want to do but these traps are highly effective um i know just right after summertime pretty much when before it starts raining the gophers really did a number on my yard i mean there were mounds like just giant mounds and if i have i have like rock landscaping and they're pushing all the dirt into the rocks and then i gotta it's no yeah it's a chore just to get them out i don't really like hurting animals and stuff like that if i don't have to but you know so they're just really a nuisance and they can cause if you have fields and stuff like that with horses they can the horses can step in and break their ankles it's all kinds of no good stuff so um these are highly effective um I'll link them in the description below if you guys want to check these out. So, anyways, my friends, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. I hope this helps you take care of your little gopher or mole problem. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.